I'm going to show a couple ways to get to this nice arrangement, starting from solid faces on a regular hexahexa flexagon. The first way uses the tuck flex and the pyramid shuffle flex. From face two, find a hinge where the pad or stack of leaves to its left has exactly two leaves and the pad to its right has four leaves. This is the reference hinge for the first tuck flex. That hinge at the top, fold the hexagon in half backwards along the hinge then open from the middle. Next, tuck the top corner into the center, bringing the left and right sides together, then open it back up. You've now done a tuck flex with a new reference hinge at top. Now shift two hinges to the left and do a second tuck flex. Then turn it over while keeping the same reference hinge and we'll finish with a pyramid shuffle. Fold in half backwards across the reference hinge, open up a pyramid on the left side, which will shuffle to the back, tuck in the corner, and open it back up. And we now have that nice arrangement. To get back to the solid colors, we'll do the inverse of that sequence, starting with a pyramid shuffle, followed by two tuck flexes. But there's a quicker way to get to that arrangement if we make our hexaflexagon from bronze triangles and use the flip flex. First, push in in the middle of the edge, open up the long side, flip it around to the back, slip it into the middle. Now, when you open it up, you get that same arrangement. But notice that the flip flex works because adjacent paths line up because of that 90 degree angle. If we try the same thing on the regular hexaflexagon, we see that flipping it along the same pair of edges would require us to turn the pocket inside out, which is hard to do without ripping the paper. However, if you're really careful, you can do it in two steps. First, push on the right side of the pocket, leaving the outside top leaf alone. Now push on the left side, being careful to invert the entire upper hinge. Now we've turned that pocket inside out, so we can easily finish the flip by tucking the top corner into the middle and opening it up. And to return to the solid faces, repeat those same steps. So now we've seen a couple ways we can get to that nice arrangement.